Closure of a poultry processing plant in Charles City is ruffling some feathers, especially for the farmers who are contracted to care for the chickens owned by Pure Prairie Poultry. ABC 6 News reporter Hannah Holland has been following this story and joins us live in the newsroom with more. Hannah. Rachel, farmers I spoke with say the chickens they care for are starving to death, but there is nothing they can do to help them. 62,000 chickens. That's about how many birds owned by Pure Prairie Poultry are living in the barns of Wisconsin farmers Terry and Don. Terry and Don own the buildings and care for the birds, while Pure Prairie pays for the food under their contract. These farmers say the agreement was running smoothly until just a few months ago. All of June, uh, we didn't get anything. We didn't get any reimbursements. We didn't get any payment. After a Chapter 11 bankruptcy filing with over 900 creditors was dismissed by the court last week, Terry and Don received an email saying the Charles City plant was closing its doors. The farmers say they are owed nearly $100,000 by Pure Prairie Poultry, and the chickens on their farm have gone days without being fed. We can't get through to barns anymore because there is too many birds that are dying. The farmers say those birds are so starving, they are now resorting to eating each other. You can't give them feed at this point. They'll kill each other to get it. Terry and Don are heartbroken, but say there is nothing they can do at this point. Pure Prairie Poultry has other contract farms in Minnesota and Iowa. And on Wednesday, the Iowa Department of Agriculture took custody of about 1.3 million chickens, which will now be fed using taxpayer dollars. Terry and Don say they don't know why Minnesota and Wisconsin have not done the same. And it's frustrating for them because they can't afford to feed that many chickens on their own. We've called and nothing's been done. We don't, we don't have that in our budget. The chickens are supposed to be removed from their barns on Monday. And though they will all have to be put down, Terry and Don say it will be somewhat of a relief. Can't wait till they're gone. I just, I mean, I feel so bad, but I can't do anything about it. Pure Prairie Poultry has not responded to our requests for comment. Live in the newsroom, Hannah Holland, ABC 6 News. All right.